Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm sure you guys all remember the bagel guy. Well, I, I I didn't expect it, but he's back. So my guy Scotty here tweeted this at me, and I read some of this article, and this was too good to not make a video about. And I want to remind you guys real quick, you can use my supporter creator code twitch relex in the item shop if you do play Fortnite. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What's the worst that could happen? We're making moves out here, road to 500 subs. Anyway, I keep getting surprised by how far this bagel guy is going. First, you know, he was calling the police because a guy made of his height second he's out here getting in fights at bagel shops and now this man is out here trying to fight celebrities and i don't know who this guy thinks he's gonna be fighting but he really thinks he's about to go toe to toe with dwayne the rock johnson they better throw him against hornswoggle or something speaking of hornswoggle did you guys know he has a cameo and i watched a couple clips he actually seems really cool austin hey man former wwe superstar hornswoggle here hope all is well i wanted to make sure to take some time send you a very very special message about your big day coming up it's your birthday happy birthday i hope all goes well hope you get everything you want hope it's a great day take care man anyway here's the article from our man bagel guy and it says here his name is chris morgan but i don't know about you guys but i prefer bagel guy and i like how they start out the article with his height they really had a dog him like that now right here it says this dude said i don't need no training i'm prepared now i don't know that much about fighting i'm not saying i could knock jackie chan out cold on the floor but i'm just gonna take a wild guess right now and say this man is not prepared and absolutely needs training. This guy is straight up crazy. I could be wrong, but did I not see some average dude tackle this man inside a bagel shop? Are we gonna talk about that? This man's 0 and 1 right now. From what I've seen, this man's just taking L's on the daily. But we can't forget, you know, I'm the current prophet. I'm the current Martin Luther King. The promoter said there was a possibility he would fight Antonio Dodson. Wait, hold on. Let me Google that. Who is that guy? Well, obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. We got your t-shirt, you the left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Wait, so you're telling me we're about to have bagel guy versus hide your kids, hide your wife guy? This is the best collab since Drake and Josh. If this is a real fight, I will gladly pay to see the hide your kids, hide your wife guy, but tease the bomb the bagel guy. I'm just naturally tough. I'll whoop his demonetized, Morgan bragged. If he thinks he's gonna win, saying that his talent was getting possessed, Morgan showed a one-two combo for TMZ's camera. And I am very upset TMZ never released the footage of this one-two combo. Morgan became a viral sensation with his wild rant about getting knocked back by women on dating sites because of his height, lashing out at a female customer before he was tackled by a larger man in the store. Everywhere I go, I get the same demonetized smirk with a biting lip, he shouted, later telling the post his outrage was sparked by belittlement. So obviously, he makes the decision any rational person was and decides to hop in the octagon with the hide your kids, hide your wife guy. Well, there we have it, folks. Mark September 7th on your calendar. We're about to see this man get Batista bomb live on stage. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. I've been working all damn day for about like two weeks straight. My boss is a fucking bitch. Matter of fact, you can tell that hoe I fucking quit. I just got a dollar for a raise. What the fuck is this? I can't make more money on the train.